Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Listen, when it has to do with power, thank God for water, thank God for light, thank God for all of these things. But the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above everything and it's been given to the believer as an inheritance. When you have that name, with it you will command strange possibilities. And watch this, that name is able to manipulate even elemental forces to walk towards the favor of God's people. In other words, I can stand and speak over an atmosphere where there's drought and say rain in the name of Jesus. I declare you begin to fall on this land. That rain will obey me. Why? Because I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not a creation. He's not a creature. He is the creator himself. In the name of Jesus, I can say by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was given to me to lead me and guide me to understand the ways of God and I can walk in it and walk with exactitude and precision. Anybody who uses the sun, anybody who uses fire, anybody who uses water against you is only wasting their time. That only works if you do not understand the power in the name. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? With the name that you have, you do not fear manipulations of water, manipulations of this. So there can be water spirits, there can be demon spirits, there can be all kinds of spirits in the air, there can be manipulations with fire. But my confidence is that I'm coming in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what is conjured against me, that no enchantments against Jacob, I don't need to also go and start pouring water and drink. No, no, I've become an herbalist. That will even become an embarrassment to the authority of that name. How many people have the name here? When you come into Christ, among the many things that you are given is that name. Access to that name. But it works by revelation. It works by revelation. Watch this. If a Habali stands now and pours water in front of your compound and is shouting, some, 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 one, and pours water and throws it away, you should not get afraid and say, hey, he even held water. No, remember what I've taught you. They are playing with all these five elements, but you have the name of Jesus. You have authority over that thing. Now, you know what happened that Benson Idahosa, I think he was, or one of these people, when they slaughtered an animal and kept it in front of him, they went and cooked it and, and ate it or so. If you use any of these elements, some of you go to your offices and you see blood, pepper, salt, all kinds of demonic things, and you panic and run away. No, remember, these are elements, and they are only as powerful as your ignorance allows them. Now, the name of Jesus that he's given you, listen, with one command, with authority. Now, if you don't know what I have taught you and you are just shouting, in Jesus' name, you will waste your time and that time will work. Let me tell you the truth. Many people have not got this revelation and they've just carried bold face for nothing and they died like chickens. The strength of the name of Jesus is not in pronouncing it like a chant. It's in the understanding. This is what gives us confidence. Hallelujah. I have held many charms with my hands. Many. Usually when people want to, when people are repenting or confessing, they carry all these charms that they got from several places. And I say, bring it to me. Because they don't know what to do with it. And they've warned them, if you keep it in your house, it will be the negative version of the act of, of God in the house of Obed-Edom. And so I say, bring it. I know what to do with it tear that nonsense into pieces and throw it away. I will not do that just by bold face. It will kill you. Listen, I'm saying this to you because I want you to walk out of this place knowing that I have power. As you obey the laws of the kingdom, expect it to work for you. The laws of prosperity, the law of honor, all of these laws. But in addition, know that I have the name of Jesus and whatever spirit wants to manipulate my life and destiny I can stand in the name of Jesus and speak that everybody who has used water against me anybody who has used the sun against me anybody who has used the earth to make pronouncement I stand in the name of Jesus and I declare that it, the effect is nullified that is the prayer we are going to pray for one minute can we pray that prayer for one minute rise up everybody say in the name of Jesus 
shout it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that every manipulation from the air from fire from water from the earth against my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus let it be nullified now open your mouth and pray in one minute I come by a superior manifestation of power power over the earth power over elemental forces power over water power over trees power over the sun someone pray they only walk to my advantage and not to my destruction they only walk to my advantage and not to my destruction they only walk to my advantage and not to my destruction hallelujah listen please look at me give me a minute and we're done hear me so the bible says if they drink any deadly thing is that in your bible that someone puts poison in water and say let him take it and die there is a covenant you have that you can even it's not about just avoiding to drink it whether you drink it that there is something the name does are we together yes the same way water separates itself from death and it can live you will be surprised that you are it means water should not kill anybody there are diseases called airborne waterborne you see it ought not to be so because that air and water was created for the advantage of the believer but manipulated by demons i should not drink water and die i should not eat food and die they were not for my destruction they were manipulated by the devil no wonder the prophet said there is death in the pot today right now the devil has manipulated all kinds of foods and now you almost don't know what to eat again because it looks like there is death in everything fear not walk within the advice of medical doctors but can i tell you shout the name of jesus on that plate and eat well and go to bed are we together yes i can go somewhere and get the water i don't know who produced it i don't know his covenant with the devil but from the time it entered my house loyalty changed the bag of rice that comes to my house i don't know who said it in fact if somebody prepares some i'm saying this because there is so much fear in believers who prepared this who put this ah i'm about to die you are going to live a frustrated christian life that way it is the evil you know that you fight what of the one you do not know there are many believers who cannot do is out of fear somebody innocently can give you a wristwatch and say uh-huh you see he gave me a rich watch this is a programming for delay please please and you may be right but what is the advantage of your presence what is the advantage of the name there are many restaurants that we may go and eat in. You don't know what the people believed. You can't sit in fear all the days of your life. Apostle, what if somebody wants to kill me? It's not what if. There is somebody on earth that wants to kill you. For sure. I can tell you that for free. Your immunity is in the name. Your immunity. This is a summary of my message. We're in the school of power. Your immunity is in the name that for as long as you stand in that name no divination and no enchantment and you can speak to elemental forces and i assure you by god that they will obey you give jesus a big hand clap thanks for watching revival time hub but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was.